I said you, you do that, you, you just go right to the strap, is because the uh, person that's doing the king's move, I hate when I fucking call it that, wants to go into the strap. Because I don't do the king's move. Yeah, and he's actually, let's do a little check. Yeah, he's got balls, mm -hmm. so he doesn't do the king's move. It's not something no. he would fall into voluntarily. So, uh, so pork chop is uh, is a real man, <laughs> and he wouldn't ordinarily use this ter this this move. So I want to preface it by saying that. All right. So with a king's move, what you're going to see is a lot of guys try to top roll it, which is a bad idea because you're putting them where they want to be. Okay. Other guys will try to knife in and hook it, and then again you're putting them where they want to be. The wrist is here. The palm is facing that way. So how you really want to be this bullshit move is like this, all right? So what you want to do is get wrist curl because you want to turn their palm up. If their palm is facing upwards, like here, then what you can do is you can sort of walk them sideways to the path. Because if they're down in that position, go down in that position, and you hit over and they still have their wrist back this way, you're in trouble. So what you want to do is gradually work your way to the point where the palm is up. Now, if you can't finish them sideways, just coming straight sideways, what you can do is continue to come out back this way, walk your body behind your shoulder, your shoulder behind your hand, and then you can force the palm flat and press, or you can come, just one more, or you can come the squat here, <laughs> into what we would call like a post move, almost back to your shoulder, and then walk through this way. You just don't want their palm this way, like that. So, um, and the other thing too is off the go, um, it depends on who you're pulling. You know, uh, I don't, I, I probably wouldn't do this against a Michael Todd who's got the long forearm advantage on me. But if I'm pulling someone who is more of a pedestrian Queens mover, um, what I would do is my first hit would be here. It would be more of a post move here. So I'd be pulling off the strap here, pushing down, a lot of hard wrist curl pressure down. And from this corner to this corner on the pad, so I could work their palm flat like that. And then either sideways or again, stand up and press and work them that way. So you don't want to work against this angle in their arm. You want to get their, their arm flat and work against this angle, this way, so they can't lock out on you. Make sense? Oh, okay. All right. That does.